Well, howdy everybody and welcome to another video brought to you by me, Jack, Vintage Electronics Geek. Today's video is going to be on this uh, Viz, V-I-Z, Isolator Variable Transformer for AC. First let me uh, notate that part of this video, this first part, is going to be all shaky cam. And then uh, we'll mount it back on the tripod and uh, hopefully not be too seasick reason I'm going shaky cam this first part is uh, we're going to tear off the cover and it's just easier for me to grab the camera at which point look at it um, that way. However, I guess I could have put, uh, put this on the side and then looked at it that way. Either way, we're here. Let's get her done. Just got this in the, uh, in the mail and uh, I'm looking very much forward to using this. This is going to replace my current separate isolator transformer and a variable AC uh, transformer. So two devices in one small case. I did power this on and checked it out and everything. I was going to wait for you, but you just wouldn't show up in time, so I, I had to get busy. You know how it is, like Christmas or something. So you see here that I have the power switch already uh, turned on, and that's because I, have, I did have this on and I knew I was going to tear this apart and I wanted to try to drain the uh, capacitor as much as possible. Real quick, let's do a zoom in and we'll look at the uh, face of the case. As you can see, um, the meter here shows AC volt of 150 at 2.5 amps. We could see our line voltage. We could toggle between volts and amps. Uh, real quick, we can uh, calibrate our meter this is our control knob. These two ports, I'm really not sure at this moment what that does. If you've got a clue, let me know. We have the uh, power switch, which is illuminated. And we only have one outlet, which is fine. Pay attention. Ground. We'll come back to that in a moment. The cable is grounded. And, and I'm going to come back to that in a moment but I, I do want to bring those two things to your attention maybe some of you will know where I'm going with that this is a uh, heavy little unit have not opened it up not sure what it looks like on the inside but we are going to so we got the tag we got uh, ventilation and we have a reset okay got the case off I had to remove uh, four side screws and then remove the screws to the handles and uh, fill around with the case a little bit and it came off. So this is exactly how it is. Uh, see it when I uh, took the cover off. So we got this uh, paper that was glued onto the lid. And that's the inside. Big fat transformer. We just got right there for uh, for the electronics on that board. Not much into this. Getting you all up in its grill. Hopefully you can see down that uh, perf board a little bit. Now, one thing I, I, I mentioned at the beginning of the screen was the plug, that we have a ground. And some of you may think that having a ground 
on your isolation transformer is a good thing, but it's not. I'll include a link in the description of this video. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. Um, there's a, another fantastic video online about Variax and isolation transformers in one video. I really suggest you watch that. Even if you have one of these and you think, uh, you know, you think you're safe and, and you feel you're safe, just go check it out. It's a very worthwhile uh, video to watch. And it's a video brought to you by Mr. Carlson's Lab. Some of you already subscribed, some of you already know. And you may have seen this older video. It may have slipped your mind. But it's highly recommended. And he'll go in there and he'll demonstrate and show you why having a grounded plug is not a good idea. You can internally remove the wire. You could snip this, call it a day. But I, I'm not going to do either of those. What I have on my current isolation transformer and what I'll use on this one is just simply this plug right here where it's void of that ground and that way the device has is, is not been altered. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Should I plug it into my current isolation transformer you think? I'm really not going to do much as far as testing purposes. I'm sure we're, we're all familiar with what an isolation transformer does and, and what a Variac does. I'm going to stick my meter into it and we're going to watch it increase and decrease and that's basically about the, the, the extent of this video. What's the purpose then of making this video? Well, because there's not another one of this model on YouTube. So it, this video is primarily for historical data above and beyond anything to, to show that hey they made it one exists and here to my best ability at the time of this video is what I'm aware of what it does. So maybe it could help a, a neophyte when they get theirs figure things out. I don't know. What I do know is I do have this currently plugged into 120 volts. Uh, I need to throw the switch on the uh, the power but before I do that I'm going to safely plug in my uh, volt ohm meter and as soon as I move my hands out of it out of the way you'll clearly see the meter right here does work. Now currently I have this on uh, ohms just so you can see that the meter does work. This is a old meter I bought back in the 80's. I bought it at Napa and I think I paid maybe 10 bucks for it maybe 15 something like that. It has been a fantastic meter it's made by SunPro uh, so I'm going to swing this over to um, the 200 volt range. You should be able to see that meter just fine I'll just try to remember to keep my big fat arm out of the way. Now I'm going to ensure that's off that's all the way down. I'm going to hit the switch alright so we are now live 120 volts whatever you do remember don't stick your hands back here that would not be good raise your hands if you've ever done that it's not fun you see uh, you see blue light and you feel awfully funny I've done that a few times so let's go ahead and hit the red switch you hear that nice big thunk the uh, control back here reads 0 to 146 volts output at 2.25 amps and we can clearly see that it's not at 0 and I've confirmed this with uh, a multitude of other meters uh, multitude two other meters and they all do show a uh, positive reading hit the line voltage switch and you can see that we're reading about 120 volts. Put this back over on the volts. Reach up underneath here. You should still be able to see the meter. And I'm going to start turning this up now. And I'm going to put this on 50 volts. Smack dab on the meter. I'm a little off center from the screen it's 
So from where I'm sitting, this is sitting at about 50 volts. As you can see down here, we're at 47.7 volts. Swing this on up. We're going to go to 80. And from where I'm sitting, that's that's about 80 from where I'm sitting. And we, as you can see down here, we're right at 78 volts. Swing this on up to 100. And I think I'm roughly at about 100 here. I could be a little off, but from what I could see. And so we're at 96 here. Okay. Yeah, about 96. And let's go ahead and take this on up to 120. And so I'm reading about 120 up here and 117 down here. Let's take this on up. Okay, that's about 130. And here I'm reading 127-ish, 126. Going up to uh, 140. That's around 140. And as you can see here, I'm reading 137. Go to 150. And I'm reading one. Well, not exactly on 150. About 150, so 146 here. Now I got to tell you, on this meter, on this setting, that's the highest that I've taken it uh, on this meter. Let me kill it, and I'm going to change ranges because I don't want the meter to blow up on me in my face anyway. Turn this back on. Alright, so that meter there is showing about 149. And the reason I wanted to go to this other meter, uh, other setting, is because I wanted to continue on taking this full bore, non-stop. And just in case that m meter has a uh, goofy issues at high end. I, like I said, I didn't want it to blow up. So that's as far as the uh, rheostat will go. And we're at 100 and, uh, 164 volts. Not too bad, eh? Well, this will conclude this video on the Viz ISOVAC monitor WP dash 29 alpha thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it give me a thumbs up comment and uh, all that good stuff thanks for watching i appreciate it we'll catch you in the next video see ya